video, I'm going to show you how to attach a clamshell to the end of your threaded beaded project. So if I was using wire, I would use crimp beads, but because I'm using thread, I'm going to end it using a clamshell. So there's two or three different types of clamshells, and I have two types here. One opens from the side, so this one's easier to use. Once you attach your end bead, you just close it inside of this and whereas with this style which is probably more common it takes a bit more work so this kind opens from the top the bead that you use to secure your thread that you enclose inside you want to make sure it's small enough for the clamshell to close but also large enough to not fall through this hole also once you close a clamshell do not open it because if you do, this may break. It's very thin, so once you're ready to close it, keep it closed. Okay, so I have an 11 o seed bead, and I believe this is gonna be big enough to not fall through the hole, but also small enough so that the clamshell can fully close. And using this type of clamshell, you're going to slip it on before the bead that you're enclosing inside of it. You're going to slip it on and what you could do is make multiple knots inside of this to where your knot is larger than the hole so it won't slip through and it can't fall off is to attach a bead. So I'm not using a needle I'm just slipping it through and I'm going to slip this through two more times. One And once you've done it once, you can move your bead up and down. But once you've slipped it through one more time, you won't be able to move your bead, so make sure you're happy with its placement. So, I'm going to go through one more time. I'm doing this without a needle. A needle, it'll probably be easier to do. So, now I cannot move it because I've slipped it through too many times. It's very secure. So I can end here. If I didn't have a clamshell, I could still end here and my beads wouldn't slip off. Um, but because I have a clamshell, it gives a bit more of a professional finish. I can close this and it's easier to attach my jump rings through this hole. So what I'm going to do is cut off the thread you don't want to do it close to the bead, right at the bead. And if I was using the other style of clamshell, I would just slip it inside and close it. But because I'm using this style, And you want to make sure your thread's not hanging out. So I've closed it inside now. And you can use chain nose pliers. The good thing about these is they don't scratch your metal. So now if I try to hang my beads down they're not going to fall off because I have my clamshell and now I can add my jump rings my clasp and that is how you do it so now when you do your other end you want to make sure your bead is as close to your last bead and you want to shape your necklace or bracelet in the shape it's going to be that way it's not too stiff or too loose so when you thread on your bead and then you go through it twice, you want to make sure it's as close as possible. I hope you found this tutorial useful and if you've liked it, please give it a like and let me know down below if you have any questions or comments or suggestions.